Okie dokie, good morning guys, how are we all doing? My name's Gaius Thompson, you can call me Jay if you want, and I do gymnastics for a living. I live in Lycra for a living, and do roly polies in Lycra for, for a living. <laughs> when it's put like that, it doesn't sound as cool, but it is cool! So here's the intro. Okay, so I don't really have too much time to kind of talk this morning because as it happens, I have to go and do some gymnastics in a couple minutes, which is probably no surprise to you guys. Um, however, there are a few exciting things that I want to address for this video. One is the fact that I got something in the post recently that is very exciting for me. So I'll just roll a few quick clips of that. Do you remember when I said that I have some really, really exciting packages? This, this isn't very exciting. It's part of it. This, this is the exciting part. The second exciting thing is, well, um, going to the gym so you guys should be excited about that I'm fairly excited about that and um, this isn't exciting but I've realized that I've never addressed this okay so my name I have two technically one's a nickname one is my name everyone I, I'm I'm getting this more and more lately on my social media platforms which one is my name well, as you can see on each social media platform my handle will be Jay Thompson but my actual name on it is Gaius Jay is effectively my nickname because I, I'm not entirely sure what went on at birth, but my mum and dad called me Gaius. It is, um, it's a Roman name for all of you out there. Spelt weirdly, people really struggle to say it, hence I think where Jay came from, but they like the name Jay as well, so. In short, um, I don't particularly like, well, all my friends call me Jay because it's a bit easier. I think I think it's because it's a bit easier. Everyone knows me as Jay. My real name is Gaius. I kind of, as I'm getting older, I'm more swaying towards being called Gaius. I kind of prefer it uh, just because it's very different. It's very cool, and that's that's what I'm all about. I like being, I like having things. I like being different. But a lot of my friends actually, I find it is another thing to it is I find it weird when people call me Gaius because it's like. I don't really answer to it if I'm honest because, well, I, I rarely get called it. So when someone does call me guys, I feel like I'm either in trouble or they don't know me too well. But yeah, that's that's the thing with my names. If, if, if you want to call me guys, go for it. Call me call me G. It's a lot easier. That's, that's what a few people from the gym call me. It's, it's a lot easier. But there is the explanation of my names. You guys can tell. You, um, you also know that from that unboxing video that I'm upgrading my room quite some and yeah we'll, we'll get to the techie side of, of this in a bit first I need to go and train and then uh, then we'll talk about this bad boy right here god damn it looks good it looks very good does it perform well you'll find out in the next episode no, I'm joking we'll find out in like I don't know five minutes just arrived at the gym do you uh do you like my pink hat? Yeah, got a pink hat the other day. Got pink shorts on as well. It's a pink day. Did they do it? Oh, that means it's coming over. What was it? What was it? Is that me, France, France. you're gonna win? <laughs> no, 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 if you do it this go, it's coming over for us. Four in a row. Ready? Yeah. Ah, oh, no, it's that game. Oh. oh. Nice. Oh. Yeah. That means it's coming home. <laughs> Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's one. There's one. <laughs> Many hours later. Yep. Yes. Yep. Come on, come on. Yeah. 
Omelette du fromage au champignon. On Wednesdays, people think we train, we do weights. <laughs> it's not so true. <laughs> this is what we do. Ow. Let's do it back a bit more. <laughs> Wait, I'm definitely putting some uh, greatest showman music behind this. The world becomes a fantasy, and you're more than you could ever be. Cause you're dreaming with your eyes wide open. And you know you can't go back again. Uh. Don't try this at home, kids. At all. You can probably hear Bryn peeing in the background, <laughs> but it means that we're doing a podcast today. Haven't done one in like what three weeks, and we'll explain in the podcast why. I'll uh, probably have it linked in the description if you want to listen to this sickness. I, I did that thing again, guys, where I forget <laughs> I forget that I'm filming a vlog. Uh, the football completely distracted me. Uh, sadly, guys, it's just, it's, well, it's not coming home. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. You're not really fine, you just can't get into it. I'm joking, England did fantastically in this World Cup. We actually did the best we've done in a very, very long time. I can't remember how many years it was, but it's a long time. Being in that environment, it's an incredibly pressured. Well, there's so much pressure on you in that type of environment for them to be able to kind of hold their nerve. And what they did, we're still pretty fantastic, so you know they made they made history. That well, ish kind of ish made history slash broke the curse of doing right at the World Cup. Back to what I was originally going to do this video about was my monitor. <laughs> so let's get back on track with that. So this monitor, if you want the exact name, is the BenQ EX 3501R. Bit of a mouthful. The reason, if you guys are wondering why I selected this monitor, one, it is huge. It is a 35 inch curved monitor and the price point is quite all right. It, it retails, compared to the rest of them, quite cheap. The other reason why I got this monitor is because it has a USB type C cable um, input, which means that I can, of course, connect my 2017 MacBook Pro to it which means that, well, that happens. It also charges it. It also supports HDR. For you guys wondering what that is, that means high dynamic range. So that means that it can be incredibly bright and the contrast is really, really deep. Now, like I said, this monitor is pretty pretty ridiculous when it comes to gaming, um, just due to the, the fact that it is essentially a gaming monitor. It is built for gaming. However, there's a couple of drawbacks that I'm just gonna mention here. If you're looking for this for video editing or photo editing, yes, it is outstanding, like the size of it and the quality. You're gonna struggle a little bit, and I'll be honest here, because the colors are fairly difficult to get accurate uh, compared to my MacBook Pro, uh, just comparing them side by side. It's it's really difficult to get the colors completely the same. As I, I used an LG monitor before, and the colors were exa exactly the same. So when it came to color grading, videos like this, like vlogs and professional promo videos, it wasn't a problem. Um, when it comes to editing colour on here, it's a little bit trickier because you're not entirely sure if what you're seeing is kind of like the true tones and things like that. So they're the only they're the only things where I personally struggle with, but other than that, this thing's this thing's pretty crazy. But if you guys are looking at a monitor for gaming, this is the one. So for those of you who are into this type of thing, there you go, there's a little review on, on the monitor that I 
just got because why not you know what I mean I completely understand that monitor is well some may say overkill and I agree maybe I should get two of them nah I ain't got room for two of them but you know it's cool I'm happy with it so I'm mom I'm vlogging no! Back onto the subject of the monitor. Um, seeing as like I've had a lot of competitions and you guys know that it's, a, it's fairly stressful on your body when you're constantly just doing routines and fitness and as an athlete, you, you must kind of know that and expect it. I am absolutely to say, battered to say the least at the moment. I've been non-stop routine since like May? May around or March? I don't know, May, sometime like that. And um, well, I'm... I'm <laughs> My body's hurting, so I'm going to take the time now. That, that, that's why the vlogs have been quite non-existent. <laughs> it's because I come home, I'm just super tired, and I want to get I want to get to bed, and I kind of just want to rest and chill out and Netflix and do all the normal stuff that. Uh, well, I'm 22 now. I keep thinking I'm a teenager still, but yeah, kind of do all the normal stuff and just chill out for a little bit, and then next week. After the British teams is done, I, I think the videos will pick up. I'm pretty sure they will because I'll have bundles and bundles of energy. But for now, guys, I'm going to play some games on my Epic monitor. So I'll probably chat to you either tomorrow or in a bit. I'm not sure. <laughs> so, guys, that's going to be it for today's vlog. I know it's been a bit, a bit patchy and a bit random. But, well, that's not it, actually. I'm going to do a quick little clip of a recording that I recorded this morning. Yeah, right, mate. <laughs> and um go away. Anyway, guys, like I said, that's the end of the vlog, but it's not actually the end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a voice recording at the end of this. Something that I uh, recorded on my way to gym this morning, and as you guys can actually quite clearly see, the weather is incredible still in the UK right now. Um but yeah, I recorded this this morning and I don't know, all of a sudden I was just sat in my car and I always have these ideas and I never I need someone to film me in my car cuz I literally always have little moments where I feel like I could literally sound like Gary Vee, but <clears throat> I don't know. I just put things into perspective, and it kind of like it, it's a nice little message. And I don't know. It was it was weird. So here you guys go. Um, this is something I don't think I've ever done this before. But have a listen. Tell me what you think. And um, there was something else I wanted to say, but I can't remember what it was. I don't know, I can't remember what it was, but here's the recording. Like, comment, if you're new, consider subscribing, you guys know what to do. Make every day count. Enjoy the sunshine while it lasts, and enjoy life. I'm going off on a tangent here quickly, but I just want to basically say that I've been thinking this morning, and what I essentially wanted to say was it, I was listening to some stuff. Uh, I, I don't know, I, I had a chill, um, like like literally my whole body had goosebumps and it met, I, I was thinking like, I'm just grateful to be here, like every, I take this for granted seriously, like I take life for granted so much sometimes and I complain as much as everyone else does, but the realistic fact is that when you really think about it, you should just be grateful that you are here because the chances of you being here are like a couple billion to one. Like, you think about that, yeah? You think about all the things you complain about, just think of what you can do, like... <laughs> you've been created, you can feel, you can smell, you can touch, you can... You, the things that you can do are incredible already. And I put it into perspective, like, you think that you lose at things, but you, you're, you're clearly here for something, because you won the hardest race ever. Like, you won the hardest race that there is to win. You won the race to life. I just put that into perspective. I got... I, that, <laughs> that, that shit blows my mind. And it is, yeah. I'm, uh, makes me just think, like, I am just grateful to be here. And in this world where everything is perfect for us. We can, we can live, we can breathe, we can eat, we can sleep. Everything is perfect. And yet there are still things that we complain about. And I'm going to try my best to, to, to put that into perspective more and think about it a lot more because it is incredible. Our lives are incredible. 